This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Uh, this lecture is on the uh, first of three chapters dealing with performance measurement, and it's very much a, a really an introductory chapter. But you see, it is important that the management accountant measures performance. The job of the management accountant is to help the company do better in the future. But how are we going to do better in the future? We need to measure how well we're currently doing. How well are we doing at the moment? What do we need to improve to do better in the future? And as you'll see in the next two chapters, we really look at two types of things. The more obvious, we look at financial measures. And here we'll look at the past. Uh, we'll look at our accounts for the year just gone and we'll say, you know, has the profit gone up or has it gone down? Again, what matters to me is the future, not the past. But if, if the profit's gone down last year, we'll want to know why. You know, what's going wrong? How can we correct it? How can we improve for the future? And so there's a whole series of financial measures we might look at, looking at profitability and so on. Uh, and we'll look at that in the next chapter. But we won't just look at financial measures. We look at what we call non-financial measures. In that... Uh, something that's going to affect us for the future is the quality of what we produce or the service we give. You know, and if, if, if we're producing goods of a poor quality, then even if we've done really well this year, if we're delivering poor quality goods and customers keep having to send them back, uh, then in future we're going to lose sales. Things are going to go worse in the future. And so we need to check things like quality. Is our quality good enough? Is our quality improving? If it is, fine, hopefully that will give us extra profits in the future. But if quality is suffering, then again, in the future, we're going to lose. So it's the future we're concerned about. And you'll see in the next two chapters, there is financial measures we can look at to see how well we're currently doing and various non-financial measures we can look at to see you know, are we doing as well as we can, what do we need to improve in terms of things like quality. However, that's very much introductory. Um, three things though from um, uh, this chapter, the performance measurement overview, uh, as to how to basically looking at what we decide is important for our business. Different businesses, different things are important. Depends on the type of business. Uh, and so standardly, um, the sort of starting point for a business would be to produce what's called a mission statement. Which I must admit for some businesses is a little bit of a joke. But the basic idea is as is written there, just a short statement setting out what the company is there for, what it wants to do, what its strategy is, how's it going to go about doing what it's doing, the policies, the standards, the values. So, I mean, I've typed enough there, but why the company exists in the first place, the strategy, what activities it's going to compete in, what it's going to do to make the business bigger, its policies, its standards, guidelines for staff, and the values, the beliefs, the moral principles. And a good example is the one I've typed out, which is from McDonald's. McDonald's vision is to be the world's best quick service restaurant experience. That's what they want to achieve. That's their purpose. Being the best means providing outstanding quality, service, cleanliness and value. So that's what they're aiming for. They want to be good quality, good service, clean, good value. So they make every customer in every restaurant smile. It all sounds very jolly, but you know, that's the aim. That's their values. That's what they want the staff uh, to sort of promote. 
However, that's just a general overall statement of what the company exists for. We then start to get more detail and say, what are their goals and what are their objectives? What are we aiming for? What's our target? Uh, and as it says, a goal is just the centre of a general intention. Objective is only make it more specific. So I'll give you an example there. A goal is to improve profits. Oh, an obvious goal for, I think, all businesses. However, um, we're talking about performance measurement. In the later chapters, we want to measure how well we're doing. And so we need to have a, a target, the objective. It makes it more specific. So an example, to increase the profit by 20% within two years, well, either we have or we haven't. Now, we want to increase profit, but, you know, we need a proper objective. It's no good saying, oh, we made a dollar extra profit. Aren't we doing well? We need to set ourselves objectives so we can actually measure in two years' time, have we achieved it or haven't we? Another example, thinking about McDonald's. Um, you know, they want speed of service. I think you've all seen a McDonald's, you know, it's, it's fast food. You expect to be able to go in and get your meal very quickly, not sit and wait half an hour. So uh, they could have a goal ooh, to prepare the food quickly, fine, but an objective, something they could measure against, ooh, uh, to serve a customer within five minutes. Well, that's being specific. And we can check afterwards, are we serving within five minutes, we've achieved the objective, or aren't we? Uh, however, just one last thing. CSFs, critical success factors. We could go on listing for any business all sorts of objectives. Oh, we want to produce, um, you know, have, uh, the goods, the, the goods return because they're poor quality, uh, no more than 5%. Um, we want workers to work faster. We want this, we want this one. Well, we could come at the whole list, but then it just gets ridiculous. We need to decide for our business what are the most critical factors if we're going to do well. You know, what's the most critical thing? What are the critical things for McDonald's? I don't know, it's up to them. But speed of service surely would be one of them. It's critical. If they're taking too long, the danger is they'll lose customers. Um, cleanliness might be another critical factor. That uh, if the restaurants start getting dirty, maybe that'll put people off and they'll lose customers. But they need to sit down, they need to have a meeting with all the managers and say, look, there's lots of things we'd like to do, but what are the ones that are really critical to our business? If you're a company selling goods by mail, mail order, the speed of delivery, surely. You know, if... Um, People have to wait three weeks for something to arrive. They're not going to be happy. We'll lose business. So again, it's each separate business, but what are the critical things? Let's narrow them down. Let's have just five or six critical factors. Um, the final thing that sort of goes with it is KPIs, Key Performance Indicators. is the measures we're going to use. Now, all of this will be expanded on in the next two chapters. Uh, but you see a critical success factor, maybe for McDonald's, is the speed of service. We've decided that's critical to our future, to keeping customers. Well, we need to decide how we're going to measure it. All right, saying we want to be faster, but how are we going to measure it? Oh, uh, maybe the average waiting time per customer. It's only a suggestion. 
So does the company decide what are the critical factors and how are they going to measure it? But maybe we'll decide, right, that's one way we'll measure speed of service, and I can set targets. You know, we want to get that coming down, but maybe a target of, oh, we must, they mustn't wait for more than five minutes. So critical success factors, those factors that are most important for our business. Performance indicators, the ways we're going to try and measure how well we do in all those factors. All right, well, as I said, that's very much introductory. The next two chapters, I will go through various measures, both financial and then afterwards non-financial, uh, that you need to be aware of.